Say, Cher, if you enjoy the great taste of prime rib as much as I do, you'll want to be sure and attend the Bronson Alcott Senior Prom. Hey, maybe you'd like to go with, oh, I don't know, me? Oh, gee, Walter, that's really very... Yo, Peach Fuzz. If this is a prom pitch, the sign-up sheet is duly posted. So, you're saying I have a chance? I'm saying you can't win if you don't play. <sighs> Dear Walter is so sweet. Cher, thank me. Left on your own, you'd be pulling up to the prom in a Dodge Caravan with Walter's mommy behind the wheel. Okay. Nominations are officially closed. Come on, girlie, we've got a decision to make. When the female of the species struts her prime prom plumage, the male's testosteronical urges are awakened. And when the old watering hole dries up, the male must find a new, wetter oasis to quench his relentless thirst. Sleek, strong, cunning. The suburban Lion King spots his prey. He must strike suddenly, without warning, without mercy. Guys! Ah, my bad. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Lydia. You will go to the prom with me. You will have an amazing time with me. You will fall madly in love with me. Any questions? Yeah. Like, what took you so long? That's just cold. I just... Really? <laughs> yeah, really. Call me with the details. doing? Sean, you'll never guess who I'm taking to the prom. Who? Lydia! <laughs> A chick so hot, I'm gonna need other mitts just to dance with her. Hey, congrats! Hey, but don't worry, man. We're gonna get you a date. My right, word on the street is, Big Matilda finally completed electrolysis. <laughs> Mur, I'd like you to meet my prom date. Nisi. Hi, Murray. Uh-oh. When one lion wants his fellow lion's lioness, it can only lead to one thing. Slap fight on the Serengeti. Classmen, the shop teachers, and the phony names. Ken Elleration, IP Daily, Seymour Panties, how creative. The dog food one has to be Murray. He used to call and make dinner reservations for the Donner Party and then keep changing the number. Okay, that'd be for 10. No, 9. Oh, hold it, 8. Ooh, better get cracking, ladies. Only two shopping days left, and word is that you two spindly spinsters haven't landed prom dates. But I do hear that Big Matilda finally completed electrolysis. For your edification, bitchy poo, we have more options than Dr. Kevorkian at Leisure World. Mm. Gee, that's a lovely image. And what about you, Miss Scratch and Sniff? <gasps> bake enough cakes with hacksaws and I'm sure there's some prisoner that would love to take you. I'll have you know that I will be attending the prom with a world famous celebrity heartthrob. Oh, it's fun to pretend, isn't it? Okay, my mockingbird brains. How about a little unfriendly wager? Like, if I do show up at the prom with a world-class megastud, you agree to personally campaign for me as prom queen. Okay. And if you show up with your imaginary friend, Mr. Binky, we shave your head. All right, lassies. And I don't mean that in the Scottish sense. You have got yourselves a bet. 
So, who are your potential victims? Oh, I'm sorry, I mean dates. We're still deciding. Oh, okay. Okay, I know what is going on here. You're gonna wait too long to pick dates, do a no-show at the prom, and then welch on your bet to hawk me as prom queen. No way. Oh, man, no fooling. She seriously needs her brain squeegeed. So, in order to protect my bet, I demand that the two of you meet me in the gym and I will show you how to pick a prom date. Please. Ta-ta, tarts. <laughs> When it is clear that pursuing the Wu-Tang of a fellow predator will create chaos in the kingdom, the only option, sadly, is to retreat. Yet, those primal drums beat ever stronger in the young male until... Murray, I know exactly what you're thinking. You do? You're thinking you want to get to know Nisi better. Well, was I close? Yeah, spooky close. Mm-hmm. I sensed it. Come on. Oh no, see, I got class right now. Mm -hmm. Nope, I insist. Uh... Hey, Nisi. Hi, guys. Hi. Murray here wants to get to know you better before we double to the fries. Ah, uh, how sweet is that? <laughs> Tell me. So, Mur, you hang here and help Nisi with her portfolio. I got a calculus test to make up, so I gotta fly. That's my promi. <laughs> okay, go take your test and give me a tinkle later. You know I will. <laughs> later, buddy. Later, buddy. So, uh, portfolio, <laughs> Yeah, that's why I came to Bronson, to use the high-tech photo lab. Oh, so you want to be a photographer? No, actually a model. <laughs> My friends think I should go for it. Mm, which do you prefer, the bikini shot, the lingerie poses, or the short shorts and the halter top? We're down to four finalists as we enter the exciting evening wear portion of our competition. We should have split during the talent round. I mean, who cares if a prom date can juggle pork? I agree. Let's blow. Hit it, boys! I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my shirt. So sexy it hurts. And I am too well, to be polite, maybe we should stay. To be polite. York and Japan. Besides wanting to help animals and children, that's why I'd be the ideal prom date in the event that I'm lucky enough to be chosen by these lovely ladies. <laughs> Great. Thanks. Um, hi. Uh, I'm, I'm Hakeem. And I, I, too, am against weapons of mass destruction and killer bees. Look, I don't even go to the school, okay? I was just waiting here to take my homegirl Nisi home, which I still have to do if Red over here would please give me back my car keys. Hey, he was on campus, and I figured, why not fill out the field with a little imported talent? Sue me. But since I <clears throat> am still here, I do happen to be free tomorrow night, so if either of you two are up for it, so am I. Um, there's no chance that Red's gonna pick me, right? No. Okay. ends the extemporaneous portion of our pageant. Now, based on what you've seen and heard, Dion, which lucky contestant will it be? Well, as nutty as this whole thing has been, I must admit, I wouldn't mind dancing the prom night away with Kip. Yes. <laughs> And then 
there were three. Cher, you've got a decision to make. Um, I've decided. Tick tock. I've decided I'm not going to the prom. Do I have waxy ear buildup, or did I just hear you say you're not going to our senior prom? Your hearing's fine. I'm not going to the prom. Okay. None of the other guys were as hot as Kip, so we'll both go with him. It'll be like sharing chili fries. One guy, two forks. <laughs> See, this has nothing to do with Kip. It has to do with Adam. Oh. I mean, I know that I have to get on with my life, but... I don't know, since he died, it just seems wrong to go with someone else, you know? Is that totally nuts? I mean, can you understand that? Of course I can. Why didn't you say something before now? I guess I didn't realize myself until I saw all those guys and none of them was Adam. I've got it. We'll both stay home. We'll rent Titanic. Oh, maybe not Titanic. The boyfriend dies in that too. We'll rent movies, we'll eat Cheetos and cry. It'll be fun. See, I need you to promise me one thing. Anything. That you'll go to the prom and have the greatest time. Ah, without my best best? Yeah, right. On what planet? D, please? Okay. But you'll be in my heart the whole time. Well, make sure you save a little room for Kim. <laughs> <laughs> Gym. Yeah, you could barely smell the urinals in the boys' locker room. <laughs> Way to set the mood, bonehead. Uh, you know, I too am a Murray date survivor. Maybe we could start a support group. Pardon. Excuse me now. Excuse me. Excuse me. My God, the delusional dits actually pulled it off. I don't believe it. That is Leonardo DiCaprio. Ah, he really put on some pounds since growing pains. Leo, be an angel and check my fur. Ah, freedom. Finally able to share my secret love with the entire world. <laughs> Amber. <clears throat> um. Where's Leo going? You think I can get him to record that King of the World speech on my answering machine? Can he please have one evening, just one magical evening, away from all of you demanding and annoying fans? Oh, well, you know, I just needed a hunk of his hair to pay for college. <laughs> <laughs> Murray, um, if you could tear yourself away, I'd like some punch. Oh, big glass bowl of red stuff way over there. Punch. I love some too. Oh, you heard the lady Sean? Looks like we're making a punch run. Chop, chop. Amber, I don't know what to say. How about vote for Amber Marion's for prom queen? Hmm? Sean, man, there's something I gotta say to you. <sighs> Me too. Yeah. Okay, let me go first. I want your date. That is exactly what I was gonna say to you. Listen, I am so into Nisi. Oh man, and I totally got it going on for Lydia. Why do you think I suggested we get to know each other's dates better? <laughs> okay, so you know what we gotta do, right? Brain switch. No, Sean, date switch. See, we simply tell our dates we wanna swap. Wait, 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 we tell our dates? Murray, that's crazy talk. Listen to me, do you know what the ultimate aphrodisiac is for a woman? If I did, would I be standing at a punch bowl with a fellow virgin? It's complete and total honesty. See, once you learn to fake that, the chicks fall like majestic redwoods. So let's go collect some lumber, Jack. Timber! Vote for Amber Marin's prom queen. Vote for Amber Marin's prom queen. Nicely done. And remember, it never hurts to say please and thank you. Please die. Thank you. So, uh, how'd you and Leonardo hook up? Oh, my daddy's a shrink to the stars, and he was seeing Leo. In confidence, of course. <laughs> Any 
Anywho, he has got some major issues to deal with. I mean, all this stuff left over from his time with Cameron. With James? No, Kirk. Hey, if Leo is making 20 million bucks a picture, why is he stuffing food into his pants? Oh, <laughs> you know how eccentric these, you know, show folk are. <laughs> I mean, Orson Welles used to keep lobsters in his trousers. Excuse me. Listen up, Gomer. Hick DiCaprio lookalikes might be unfamiliar with our big city ways, but movie stars do not line their pockets with fiddles. But so just shut your shoe fly pie hole, or I don't pay your fee. Capiche? So, how about you and I jump in my car and? Head to Vegas for the weekend. Kip, don't you think it's a little early in the relationship for talk like this? Damn, baby. You don't have to put on some nice girl like for me. I know all about you. Ooh, you know all about me? From who? From Murray. Oh, really? And what did Murray say? You no, know, just locker room guy talk. You know how you guys, um, did it. <laughs> Switch dates. Yeah, yeah. So here we are at the prom, just one of the biggest nights of our lives, and you two are trying to treat us like we're a couple of Furbies? See? And you were worried they wouldn't get it. <laughs> oh! Oh! No. No. I'm not gonna slap you, Murray. <laughs> you are so not worth it. God, the hell he isn't. <gasps> oh! Well, that ties my record. Slap twice in one night. Well, oh, congratulations. We have a new record. What'd you do that for? For telling the locker room that we did it? Okay. I never said we did it. I just never said we didn't do it. Oh, well, thank you for going to such great lengths to set the record straight, Murray. Hey, that's my purse. <laughs> What are you doing? I just need bus fare home. I was afraid Amber wasn't gonna pay me if I messed up this DiCaprio lookalike gig. Leo, my love, is there a problem? DiCaprio lookalike, huh? Thanks for spilling the beans, Leotardo. I should have gone with that Joe Piscopo lookalike who was hanging around bothering everybody. Oh, that wasn't a lookalike, ma'am. That was Mr. Piscopo himself. You're fired. Oh, I don't know who's more pathetic. You? Or this jackass. <laughs> I'm with you, girl. Break his no good coals. Jack here cost me my prom date. Shut up. I don't need your help, Uncle Fester. <laughs> well, excuse me, Lurch. Oh, Lurch. I like that one. What are you laughing at, prom wrecker? <laughs> you, Bubble Butt. <laughs> Would you two lamos shut up? You're migraining me. Oh, please. The Hall of Fame lamo is you with that pathetic DiCaprio lookalike. Okay, so it was a little mis. Calculation. Oh no, see, remaking Psycho shot for shot, that was a little miscalculation. What you did is just plain nuts, so girl. I admitted I was wrong, okay? No. Drew Carey in a Speedo is wrong. The Leonardo. Maybe I did it because nobody asked me to my senior prom, okay? Can you even guess how much that hurts? Can you imagine, even for an instant, what it feels like to be the joke of Bronson Alcott? The girl that has to look goofy and act goofy and get laughs instead of love. No, you know what? Don't imagine it. Because it stinks. Wow, Amber. Uh, I don't know what to say. And the one person who does isn't here. You called him Uncle Fester? It slipped out. Yeah, but you know, it's one of his hot buttons. It's the light bulb in the mouth. It freaks me out. And Murray, you actually told your dates you wanted to swap. Now, come on, you've lectured me about honesty. Apparently, not enough about stupidity. Murray, women aren't interchangeable, even if that's what you honestly want. <laughs> and Amber, you should know that you don't have to make up this fantasy life for us to accept you. Really? Well, it would help. Sorry.
but came for my money. We had a deal and you blew it, Bionardo. I am paying you squat. I was afraid it was going to come to this. Boys! Lookalites! Run! me away is that I'm actually starting to believe that there's a human being inside of Amber. Oh look, it's stinky and no brain. So I hear you two do five fell for my whole look-alike prank. Amber, what are you saying? Everyone knows your Leonardo was a fake. I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about the look-alike I hired to play me. I hear the two of you fell for that whole breakdown confession. <laughs> I can't find a date and it really hurts. I wish that I could have been there to see your faces. Amber, please. You showed us a little bit of your soul. That's nothing to be ashamed of. Got you again. I'm not Amber. I'm Emma. She found me on the internet. Watch, watch, watch. I'll do her again. <sighs> chimps. I am working with chimps. Spooky, isn't it? Tally hoes. Should we call a psychiatrist or an exorcist? How about an assassinist? <laughs>